Suzuki's latest concept, the Makba, vaulted into the spotlight this June. A robotic transport dog, rumored to be priced at a striking $3,000. Developed as part of Suzuki's broader mobility initiative, the Makba fuses four articulated legs with retractable electric wheels, promising to leap over stairs, trundle across uneven pavement, and squeeze through narrow corridors with ease. Unveiled with considerable fanfare at the Japan Mobility Show, it has already been hailed as a potential game-changer for urban transport and emergency response alike. The Makba tackles one of the biggest limitations of traditional electric vehicles, inaccessible terrain. On smooth pavement, powerful brushless electric motors drive each wheel for efficient, near-silent cruising. But when confronted with stairs, rubble, or stretches of grass and gravel, the wheels retract and the legs, each powered by high-torque actuators, take over, lifting and placing the platform with uncanny stability. A network of LiDAR units, inertial sensors, and onboard AI continuously recalibrates balance and gait, allowing the robot to adapt on the fly as obstacles appear or disappear in its path. Beyond its locomotion system, the Makba is designed to operate in three distinct modes, each tailored to a different use case and user experience. In chair mode, a cushioned saddle and supportive backrest transform the platform into a seated electric vehicle capable of gliding at speeds up to 12 miles per hour. This configuration is ideal for sprawling corporate campuses, theme park grounds, or large indoor facilities where comfort and speed matter most. In standing mode, Riders lock their feet onto footplates and grip handlebars, gaining an elevated vantage point that is perfect for crowded events or industrial inspections. Finally, stretcher mode detaches the seating components entirely, swapping in a flatbed cradle that can carry injured individuals over uneven terrain, an invaluable capability for first responders in disaster zones where wheeled stretchers simply cannot follow. Modularity lies at the very core of the Makba's design philosophy. Quick-release mounts are built into the chassis, enabling rapid swaps of specialized attachments. Delivery operators could clip on enclosed cargo bins for secure package transport. Maintenance teams could attach robotic manipulators for remote handling of hazardous materials. Surveyors might install panoramic camera masts or environmental sensors to inspect construction sites, power plants, or agricultural fields. And in off-grid environments, Lightweight solar arrays could be affixed to recharge batteries during daylight hours. This reconfigurable approach envisions the Makba as a Swiss army knife on four legs, ready to tackle demands as diverse as logistics, inspection, healthcare, and personal mobility. The hype surrounding the Makba is already palpable. If Suzuki manages to scale production near the much publicized $3,000 price point, we could soon see fleets of robotic dogs handling last mile deliveries campus shuttle services weaving effortlessly through pedestrian zones, and search and rescue teams deploying compact mechanical companions into debris-strewn landscapes. Imagine medical couriers bypassing traffic snarls by stepping up curbs and trundling through pedestrian tunnels. Seniors gaining newfound independence as their robotic aides escort them across uneven sidewalks, or theme parks offering robotic tour guides that carry guests comfortably and unobtrusively. All of this for roughly the cost of a mid-range electric scooter signals the possibility of democratizing advanced robotics like never before. Yet, that tantalizing $3,000 figure deserves careful scrutiny. It appears to originate from early concept discussions and speculative social media chatter rather than any formal Suzuki press release. In fact, some of the viral images depicting people riding the Makba have been flagged as likely AI-generated mock-ups rather than photographs of a production-ready machine. Suzuki itself has remained tight-lipped on production timelines, safety certifications, and definitive retail pricing. As such, the Makba still resides firmly in the realm of prototype demonstration, not showroom-ready transport. To better understand the Makba's place in this emerging field of robotic mobility, it helps to compare it with Kawasaki's Corleo concept, which also made waves earlier this year. Corleo marries motorsports DNA with legged robotics, offering riders a hydrogen-powered, four-legged platform complete with split rubber, hooves that conform to varied terrain. Unlike the Makba's battery-centric design, Corleo combines a hydrogen fuel cell with a small internal combustion engine to generate electricity for its leg-mounted motors. The result is an emphasis on off-road endurance, 
where travelers might traverse backcountry trails or desert dunes far from charging stations. The divergence in powertrain choices underscores each concept's distinct ambitions. Corleo's hydrogen hybrid system aims for ultra-long range and rapid refueling in remote areas, while the Machba's swappable lithium-ion battery packs suggest quick turnaround in urban settings where charging infrastructure is plentiful. Terrain handling tactics differ too. Corleo's hoof-inspired feet dig into loose soil and rock, maximizing traction off-road. The Machba's wheel-leg hybrid excels on pavement and steps, retracting its wheels for rolling efficiency or extending its legs for stepping capability in milliseconds. Use case ambitions also set the two apart. Kawasaki positions Corleo as a robotic horse for thrill-seeking adventurers and ecotourism operators, complete with digital dashboards that map routes, monitor hydrogen levels, and project navigation waypoints even after sundown. Suzuki's Makba, on the other hand, zeroes in on urban utility, last-mile logistics, corporate campus transit, emergency medical extraction, and accessibility support for individuals with mobility impairments. Both prototypes spark the imagination, but they clearly target different sectors of the market. With all the buzz around the Makba, it's crucial to separate fact from fiction. First and foremost, the concept itself is undeniably real. Suzuki engineers have built and demonstrated a working prototype on stage, complete with moving legs, retractable wheels, and the modular attachment points that define its vision. What remains unverified, however, is any plan to mass-produce the design at scale or sell it for $3,000. The price tag originates from early press speculation and viral social posts, rather than an official Suzuki announcement. Likewise, images purporting to show everyday people riding the Makba through city streets have been traced back to AI composites rather than actual field tests. Suzuki has yet to disclose safety certifications, production timetables, or distribution partnerships. In short, the Makba is a real prototype, but not yet a real product you can buy. Any rumors of imminent showroom availability or rock-bottom pricing should be viewed with skepticism until Suzuki issues concrete details. Of course, prototypes often serve to gauge public interest and attract development partners. The Makba's appearance at the Japan Mobility Show signals Suzuki's commitment to exploring new mobility paradigms, but prototypes frequently evolve or are shelved once technical, regulatory, or economic hurdles emerge. The path from concept to production involves arduous testing, certification, and cost optimization that can take years and millions of dollars. Until Suzuki publishes a roadmap for deliveries, the Makba remains a compelling vision rather than a consumer reality. For now, all eyes will remain trained on Suzuki's next announcements. Will the company commit to production? And if so, can it deliver on that tantalizing $3,000 promise? Or will the Makba fade into the archives of intriguing but unrealized ideas? Whatever the outcome, one thing is clear. The race to build practical, legged transport vehicles has begun in earnest. Suzuki's Makba may not be the first to cross the finish line, but its bold vision and modular approach have already left an indelible mark on the roadmap toward truly versatile mobility. As prototypes evolve into production models and regulatory frameworks catch up, we may soon find ourselves sharing sidewalks, ramps, and stairs with robotic companions once relegated to science fiction. The future of transportation, it seems, will stand on four legs and wheels.